Well guys, I tried to go all day without thinking about vlogging, trying to give myself that break, and you know what, it just didn't seem right without doing something, without, without reaching out to you guys somehow today, and, and you know what, so I figured at least, if I'm not vlogging the whole day, going out and doing stuff, I'm still going to do some kind of little short, unedited vlog like what I originally started with which a lot of vloggers out there still do on unedited vlog so here is a quick short unedited vlog I've actually chosen a subject in particular to vlog about with this one very relevant to the next uh, within the next month or so coming up something that I do every year you got it the French River trip haven't set a date yet Number one thing, I have to get a hold of Mr. Wellington so we can set aside that particular time and figure out when works best because, man, thank the gods for Mr. Wellington because, you know, if you're watching right now, Rodney, thank you very much. He knows the importance of getting out and he donates his time, his energy to get me up to French River and back because he knows how much it's actually helped me. He says he sees a 100% different with the person that comes back off the river. And believe me, it, it really does help. If you've never gone and done a solo week out in pure wilderness all on your own, give it a try sometime. It really helps. I have made a short little list of things that I wanted to mention. So obviously number one was contacting Rodney. Uh, number two something very important because energy is a must if you don't have the right fuel you're not paddling to georgian bay and back from hartley bay marina that's uh we'll say the round trip is close to the way i like to take about 100 kilometers of paddling sometimes up to eight hours of paddling a day but a lot of exploring on foot as well because that's half the fun of it going up there and exploring so food preparations dehydrated chili my chili is like my power food and it, it just keeps you going. Uh, stuff for sandwiches, so whenever you get a craving for that extra bit of energy, that extra bit of something in your stomach, you can stop make PB&J sandwiches. Uh, last year I had some of those dehydrated mountain house foods. Those were pretty good. And then there were various breakfast ones. I do a lot of instant oatmeals for breakfast. It's just a, a quite a bit to think about food ways, but you don't want to ever overdo it because you're carrying all that stuff with you, whether you eat it or not. And lots of little snacks. Another thing, supplies, actual camp supplies that I use, so like decent rope, making sure my tarps are good, my tent, uh, what else, let's see, like the life jacket, the, the main supplies that I use for the trip, that includes something else here on the list, my water filter. I use a cat oh my third time's a charm. Catadine pump style water filter. Now the water up there in French River water system is clean enough. You could probably drink it and some people do. Straight right out of the water and drink or boil it and drink it. But I like using that pump filter because it's almost a guarantee that you're not gonna get E. coli or Giardia sickness from drinking untreated water. So it's it's another must. And that is just means checking and make sure it's good to go. It should be this year because I took all the preparation when I put it away last year. Next, uh, possibly do two weeks instead of one week. That means double the food, double the supplies, the you know, like the things I would burn out through burn through the one the first week. And the route leaves if I have two weeks I can go twice as far take my time about it too so I'm still thinking about that I can say that every year Rodney has encouraged me to do two weeks rather than one week when you know I contact him a day or two before when I do hit cellular range if I get a weak little signal what if I do have a cell phone out there because last year I went without any line of communication wanted to do it completely the old way we didn't have cell phones back even 20 years ago. So you go on a trip like that, you're going without that line of communication. Why? It doesn't have to be different. You I mean, you can play it safe and bring a phone. And I do recommend it because things can go bad and you want that emergency thing. But half the time out there, you don't have a, a signal anyways. But I went a little ADHD there. Um, 
contacting him a day or two before pickup and he's like hey do you want me to meet up with you and bring you out some food and then you can just do a whole another week and it's like e yeah and that that that, that approaching the end of the first week i'm usually craving my bed craving my home uh, missing the tv catching up on the youtube and all that stuff but i am thinking about two weeks next is uh filming it differently i do want more high quality there's stuff that i really really want to show you guys filming it differently in a means of higher quality uh maybe showing different things that i didn't show before filming different aspects different angles different thoughts on things and lastly and even though there is a bunch of different things i could think about uh talking about or discussing when it comes to preparing for this french river trip uh, i'm gonna choose to leave it without being a whole lot of stuff craig's canoe uh, i'm gonna be probably just using craig's canoe again my canoe it needs work plus it's a tank and if you have to portage you don't want that heavy canoe right some things to work on, definitely some preparations, get a hold of Rodney, number one, first thing. And as soon as I know that, I'll be able to start setting a date. It'd be kind of cool to get a whole bunch of people going on it, but I do think I kind of appreciate the solo time as well. And it'll just happen the way it happens this year, and I'm sure you guys will know about it. <laughs> Thanks for watching this short, unedited vlog. If you have seen a little edit, it's just because I've had to stop filming for a second. But I'm not really going to be editing anything out, just putting things together. So it's one whole video instead of a bunch of short clips. Comprende? Right on. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your support and your time. Yes, I'm having a hard time not doing a daily vlog, but you know what? 637 is just a weird sounding number to stop doing daily videos at. And I'm not quite done with going out and doing things yet. I'm not anywhere near done filming. So, a short unedited vlog is not much of a hassle at the end of the night. Just to touch base with you guys, talk about something randomly, and then on with the next day tomorrow. Right? Right. Anyhow, think positive, stay positive, keep a smile on your face, and we'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night. This vlog's over.